and the so fact true. that he is just so willingly he's just so comfortable saying this online just probably because of the fact that he can say oh this is just oh no this this is just a character this is just a story i'm just making it up Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy YCB man, and today we have yet another reaction video. This is actually part two to a video that I, I've already done about Abba and Preach in Charleston White. Apparently, Charleston White is responding to Abba and Preach, and we are going to get into it. But before we actually do, please do me a favor. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. It helps out with the channel, and it lets me know that you are rocking with the content. And also follow me on my social media while you're at it, at WatchTV94. That is my TikTok um my twitter and my instagram that is at watch tv 94 but without further ado let's get into it man i i just want to see what he has to say because yeah i i don't know this dude is said some wild shit last time so i can only imagine what he's saying now asian i'm a hate for a i hate asian i like i hate asian i hate johnny dane i don't eat chinese food only time i ever wanted some chinese shit was at a bathhouse some chinese slaves I wouldn't dare. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I hate Chinese people. Yeah, I don't give a about China, man. I hate Chinese people. I think Chinese stores should be robbed. I think Chinese women should be brutally by big, well-hung black men. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the actual fuck? You know what? I'm... <laughs> This, this kind of, this really confuses me. And it also pisses me off at the same time. Because there are so many of you who I saw defend this man online, who, who are continuing to defend this man online. Some of you were in my fucking comments, bro. I, I shit you not. Guys, it's a character. Dig more into Charleston White stuff. He's actually a whole community activist. He does this stuff on purpose. I'm at a loss for words. Are you fucking kidding me? Whether you're a community, whether you're an activist or whatever, I don't care if you pass out fucking turkeys to the homeless every fucking Sunday. I could care less. If you're saying, if you're just saying this stuff online, and you are basically like inciting like hate and violence towards a specific group of people you you're a piece of shit like you're a piece of shit i don't give a fuck what you do okay i could care less you could be a whole murderer out here but still i i don't fucking know help out the homeless in some way and and donate to all these organizations and mentor children i could care less you are still a fucking murderer at the end of the day you are killing people what are you even saying right now just because he, he's he's an activist this makes what he says okay there are better ways to get your message across there are better ways to get attention than to incite hatred and violence towards a specific towards specific groups i'm not even going to say a specific group because he said this about multiple people specific groups like i just I, help me understand i'm lost all right shall I get well? that hate chinese women china mac i think chinese babies should be nigga. Woo! alligator baby Nah, I don't care. Yo, I could no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an L take. I'm sorry. I don't care what you guys say. This is him. This is this is truly how he feels. I could care less what you think. If you think this is a character or whatever, no, he really thinks this, this is wild. I don't care how many times you hear that. This is wild. And the so fact that he is just so willingly, he's just so comfortable saying this online. Just probably because of the fact that he can say, oh, this is just, oh, no, this, this is just a character. This is just a story. I'm just making it up. It's just like, it's just like fucking Sneeko. He's always saying, oh, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. He can fucking threaten to, to grape somebody and assault them. But when they fucking come with the smoke, he's like, you're, you're really going to be, you're really going to be hurt over a joke. That's not even fucking funny. Where the fuck is the punchline? I think Chinese babies should be 
killed and sodomized and used as alligator bait. So I looked into this guy. Whoa. This guy, um, I've actually watched like two, three interviews after seeing some of this stuff. I'm like, what, what is, what am I watching? And surprisingly, man, on a lot of aspects, he's quite insightful and he's well read. It watches some of that. The only thing, the only thing that I saw personally of Charleston White where I like agreed with him was uh, when he was talking about the whole snitching situation, saying how he was snitching a heartbeat to save himself. And if you go to jail for another nigga, like that's that's stupid. And yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. That's the only thing I've heard him say that I actually agreed with. So I guess the analogy that this guy was trying to make when he talks about alligator bait or alligator whatever, which is what they used to do to slaves back in the day. Okay. And so he was making assemblies to that kind of stuff. He didn't fucking say that though. He didn't he did not fucking say that. He just said Asian children should be used as as alligator bait. Like he didn't he didn't say that. He didn't compare the two. Like I could care less. Now even when you take it into that whole context, this is some wild shit they say on the internet. Yes. About any group. And I think I notice black folks will defend this kind of stuff. Because they have a very, like, us versus them mentality, which, to be fair, if anyone's being honest, it's like minority communities don't really get along that well in the States. Like, people are like, whoa, whoa, it's like, you know. It it honestly depends on, it depends on where you go. Like, I live in Virginia, and most people really don't give a fuck here. Like, we all live peacefully. Like, for, for the most part, for the most part, we, of course we have our spots, but where I live specifically, no one really gives a fuck. All these groups in America, like, they just don't like each other. No. Um, especially depending on what city you're in, it can be even more amplified to the point where you can't even walk in certain areas if you're a different color. So, what do I think? I mean, what is it to really think about something like this? This man's talking about sodomizing children. It's on camera. Oh, it's a troll, it's a troll. Listen, y'all can't do this whole, like, I'm a comedian thing when there's, like, no punchline. What? Where, where's what the, the fuck? God damn it, I am fucking good. Damn it, I'm good. What, li what did I just say? Where the fuck is the punchline? What did I just say? Can set up. Can anyone tell me? Oh, it's a character. It's a character. Sure it is. Sure it is. It's hard for me to say it's a character when you come to find out that motherfucker's done some similar shit behind closed doors. Mm. That's the problem. Mm. That's the problem. When he admits to certain crimes, sometimes he's being serious, and other yes. times it's just a joke. It's like, what? What am I listening to? You can't be as a joke all the time. Oh, that's what rappers try to do. Yeah. Oh, it's art. It's True. art. Meanwhile, you snitch on who the body was, when you did it, where you did it, and the police find it. Why would they think it's a joke? You get me? That's self snitching again. Beyond even just it's self snitching, it's like we need to stop pretending like some of these people who are saying this stuff online are all doing these under the guise of jokes, mm -hmm. or all doing these under the guise of whatever. It's like I said. If they got them skeletons behind closed doors, sometimes it's okay to look a little bit deeper and say them words is not just jokes. And then it yeah. sounds like a joke to me. I don't even know how anybody can look at this stuff and, and think it's funny. Talking about he wants you wants children to be soft. Think about that. Don't think about it too long. But, then but think <laughs> about it honestly. Like just 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 take a second. No, seriously, that's what I'm saying. It's it's not even funny. So like seriously, guys, let me know if you're defending this guy. Let me know in the comments down below. I will try my best to have a civil conversation with you. Like what? let let me know why do you still why do you defend him do you agree with him like i just i just want to know i i just i really want to know why irrespective of whatever history there is or whatever think about grown men today mm -hmm. wishing on children yes. yeah i uh mm. Mm. like i don't know it's just when you, you, you like, th there's a certain, certain element of, like, self-preservation and, and wanting to defend, but I, I understand. They're talking about sizing children. It's like, what are you trying to say in that joke? Like, when you do a joke, there's an actual process of doing a joke. It's not just saying stuff and wild stuff in order to have a reaction. No. That's not what a joke is. There is a process. There is a way to do a joke. There is a recipe to do that joke. Okay? Set up, premise, punch. There's some key word... There's no setup, there's no premise, there's no punch. Mm -hmm. You're just saying s sentences. Yep. There's a difference between saying sentences and doing actual comedy. A lot of people out there, it's not, be, it's not everybody that make people laugh that are comedians. Okay? Some of y'all are clowns. And I don't even know what the hell that is that's going to make you laugh Facts. about this. There's no setup, there's no premise, there's no punch. 
Yes, you can. It's not funny. But there's a way to do it. Like, do you guys think this is okay? Do you think this is funny? Like, seriously, let me know. I really want to know. Yeah, people do hide themselves behind the whole thing about, yeah, it's a joke, it's a joke. It's, it's a, a prank. character. It's a prank. It's, it's a, a character. Prank. It's a character. Turns out the thing he was no, joking you're, about you're, is the very thing you're, he did. You're, you're being very wild right now. Uh. Even even the prank thing. Yo, it's a prank, bro. Why are you mad? It's a prank. Like I'm not. Don't 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 be mad. And look, and that's another video I probably have to make with the guy that was uh, that was doing pranks in Virginia, and somebody shot him in his stomach. You you damn right. Stop fucking with people, stupid. I'm not supposed to be mad at pranks. I'll be, it's the same thing. I'll be honest with you. I don't hear white folks online saying half as crazy shit about black folks or any other group that this man has said about. They Asian can't. Folks. I have never heard. I've heard some foul stuff from race. But I've never heard anything even similar to that. I would have to agree. So I'm children. How long do you want to go back in the past to be able to justify the fucked up shit you're saying and doing today? What I've seen in that video is that all that was said because he hates one dude that happens to be of Asian descent. Okay. I question you. Whenever you the, the, who, the, 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 the fuck are you, Liam Neeson? Like I <laughs> okay, if that is true, for somebody who thinks logically, right, it is incredibly illogical to put an entire race to pigeonhole them to one specific thing because of one person, because of one incident or whatever. Jesus Christ. You want to go at somebody, but you're going to go into foul shit like that? That has nothing to do with what the, the, what, what the hell that person said? I'm like, nah, you're not the one. There's so many things that you could have said about what he did and what you don't like about what he did, but that's you're going to insult the whole thing. It's like I remember back in the days when I was in, in elementary school or high school, and then you started arguing with a white, white person, and the minute they didn't have anything to say, well, you're a Nick, yep came out really quick yeah you want you know what kills me like a lot of people are caping and like defending this dude or whatever he says yeah. meanwhile they had a lot to say about just pearly things and like the minimal stuff that yeah. she did now, don't get me wrong i ain't with what she did no but it's not even comparable if pearl had said fuck no pearl look compared to what charleston white said yo pearl stuff is lightweight like it is lightweight that what she said is literally nothing compared to doing specific things to children i'm not i refuse to get demonetized half as many things about black folks as this dude said about asians they would lose their goddamn fucking mind yeah goddamn fucking minds over like over the eighth of what he what he said yeah, so so this is the thing with me with people it's like you guys are willing to defend black men who do the most disgusting and say the most foul things because they're directed at other groups okay well, don't expect a lot of sympathy from people when it comes to any of your plight or any of your issue. If you just want to blindly defend each other, you're going to lose a lot of fun. You're going to get deplatformed. You're going to yeah. lose these things. And of course, like no other group, literally nobody else of any shade, of any color, can be a creator on this platform and say the things he said. So if he loses, don't be like, oh my God, the system, the matrix. No, stupid. That's you. That's you. I know he, maybe he doesn't care. Like there's a lot of people who can make a living and do well. Off like he doesn't care. That's fine. I just don't want to hear nobody crying to me afterwards, complaining about like this is unfair treatment. I'm like, no, you had this shit coming. I'm kind of glad you gone because this is some stupid shit you saying. <laughs> He's gotten away with a so what? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to do it? Uh, they say they calling you a so. You know, so what? So what? I'll who gives a damn? I only white women. So what? I got away with it. Who cares? I don't. I don't give a fuck. Not one motherfucking bit. Will I reap again? I don't know. Nah, B. Nah. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. I refuse. I re nope. Character my ass. He did this shit. Look at the look, look at his fucking face. He did this shit. I could you could say you could say whatever you want. Oh, he's just please playing a character. There's only there's only a, you can only have a certain point where you can keep claiming somebody is playing a character or is just comedy like like Abba pointed out. No. No, we cannot use that for everything. No, no, no. He did that shit. I don't. I do not care. When people tell you something, believe them. <laughs> Some hoes like to be. I don't know. I think sometimes black people, especially, do an extreme poor job of choosing people that they want to defend in terms of their behavior. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 
Because then it's like, oh, he was such a good person. Motherfucker murdered 10 people. He's such a good person. Pride of mitigation. Oh, what did R. Kelly do? Free R. Kelly. It's like, what? Like, don't just defend anybody. That's another good example. Shit. It's just like, yo, get rid of the trash. These people are hurting your neighbors, hurting the people in your communities, hurting the image of the communities. And yeah, I'm not fucking sticking beside somebody that says some, like, crazy, salacious shit just because they're black. Get the fuck out of here. No, I could care less if you're black. I want to go out of your way to make this shit worse. I'm by not getting behind you. Like, they did some fucked up shit, send them to jail, whether it's white people or whatever. They talking about doing what to children? Bro. What are we even arguing about? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's no way that you can justify this. There is literally no way that you can just justify this. Get him the fuck out of here, bro. Like that's that's wild. Saying that you want to do that to kids, saying women deserve to be graped, like I didn't think it was gonna get worse. It got twenty times worse. Oh uh, shit. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um Yeah. And if you're still defending him, please let me know why, because I'm confused. I'm very confused. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media, at WatchTV94. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday, man. Peace. Jesus.